This is Outside the Cage with your hosts, Ike Feldman, Pete Hoffman. And we are being joined right now by the legendary Ray Seffo. PFL Season 2 begins this uh, in May 9th. Tell us, dude, this is huge news that took place. ESPN and PFL are a thing. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're definitely uh, very proud to be part of the uh, ESPN family. And, uh, of course, it's Season 2 for PFL, uh, which kicks off May 9th. Uh, in Long Island, New York. Are you okay with people forgetting about Ray Seffo, the amazing kickboxer? <laughs> and now remember you as Ray Seffo, the amazing businessman? <laughs> well, I'm, you know, I kind of like, I kind of like both, but uh, at the same time, just like anything in life, you got to move on with life. And, uh, you know, I'm so proud and so uh, blessed to do what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what you have done, I mean, last season was fantastic. The way it ended was ridiculous. Uh, you know, get, getting, being back at, at at the Garden was awesome. But, you know, again, now this this transition to ESPN, uh, again, you're bringing a lot of some big fighters, Kayla Harrison, Chris Wade is back. Uh, you know, there's there's some really good talent. Uh, it's it, Again, the prizes are there. You ha- tell us how you know going from what the first season, the inaugural season, to the second season. How you feel? Do you feel a little bit more confident? Is there is there more of a, uh, a bigger? Um, do you feel more that this thing has really taken off? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm very thankful to our team, and um, like I said earlier, but uh, you know, uh, everything that we did, obviously the first season last year was. Uh, just like anything else, you, you run into some uh, some challenges, uh, regardless whether it's a fighter falling out or uh, something didn't work right with the chip or, you know, the digital side. So, you know, we've done a lot of um, correcting, if you will. And um, and so I think I'm very confident that uh, season two is going to be even better. Uh, that being said, I mean, season one kicked off amazing, and uh, I thought uh, there was a lot of good fights. Uh, a lot of finishes. Um, it's, you know, the, the most amazing part of it all was actually standing in the cage and watching these uh, six world champions and all their back in the cage all at once, which has never been done before. So it was, uh, it was, you know, it was, it was true, uh, truly a success. And so we look to do the same this year, if not better. It, it, it worked out, man. I forget when I was listening, whenever the deal happened. I was listening to Sirius XM. The MMA junkie guys were interviewing you. And I could just, I could feel the giddiness in your voice. Uh, again, we're being joined by Ray Seffo at Sugar Ray Seffo uh, online, the president of PFL. But don't be fooled by the, the three piece suits. He'll still kick your ass. Uh, Ray, uh, you know, you're a modest guy. You seem uh, very humble. But what's the first thing you did when you made this deal, man? Did you pop champagne? Did you, <laughs> did you do a backflip in the casino? Take us through that, man. That, that must have been a euphoric moment in your businessman career. It's huge. Man, you're on ESPN. You're gonna be on ESPN too. My father watches ESPN too. He's gonna be like, "Yo, these guys are kicking their ass for a million dollars." You made it, man. It, this is amazing. You got Hawani. You got the ESPN backing you. It's an amazing win. Take us through that. That amazing. When you got the phone call, when you signed the deal. Oh, it was uh, no, absolutely. It was it was truly amazing. Um, you know uh, what ESPN does for us? It just puts us on a different level, and also it solidifies our you know everything that GFL is doing is. Uh, not only adding to the sport, but also, you know, uh, creating huge opportunities for young fighters. And um, now, you know, it's it's about, uh, you know, the other great thing about um, PSL is that, and the fighters all said this, is that, you know, once they qualify, their whole process to the season is uh, in their hands. You win, you, you advance. And basically, uh, the more you win, the closer you get to the championship and the title, so and the million dollars. So you know, uh, we're very thankful. And of course, the, you know, the first thing I did was uh, was call my wife and my family just to you know celebrate with them as well because they're they're part of what, everything that I do. Yes, uh, MMA seems to be very family, uh, you know, uh, oriented, especially for the fighters and yourself, the uh, president of the PFL. But let me ask you something because you, you you talked about how you know you were improved off of the first season. What what changes can we see in the second season of the PFL that are really going to be you know, the audience is, is really going to pick up on? 
Uh, I think what uh, a lot of it was going to do with the digital side as well. And, of course, you know, the fighters are going to be more hungrier this year as well. Uh, obviously, for us, we, you know, in the beginning of the first season, there was a few doubts. But once the season started to unfold and then it got to the championship, I mean, the playoffs and then to the championship, uh, you can't deny PFI anymore. And so season two, uh, not only I feel like the talent was upgraded again from last year. I'm not saying that last year was, you know, uh, less of a talent, but it's just I feel like uh, we've got more experienced fighters and um, everybody's hungry for it. And so I think, uh, again, for us, it's continuing to learn from our mistakes and continue to move forward. Now, listen, we know the PFL was World Series of, of Fighting, so it's not like it's a new, uh, a totally new organization. But, right. you know, for example, in football, the AAF was a thing for about seven weeks, and it, it dissolved. Uh, you know, and, and there's this XFL thing that's going to happen again. It's this whole new league. Being a promotion, you know, going up against UFC, which now you kind of not – I don't know if you're directly going against them, but you're kind of part of the same organization being part of ESPN – but, you know, going up against the Bellators, one FC uh, is now really, one championship is really trying to, to get their foot into the, you know, North America. You know, how is it? Do you feel the competition between all these promotions? Do you feel good, especially going on to the second season now, that you are a success? Does, do you feel uh, confident of where you guys are going to? Um, no, I, I mean, I'm very confident, but I'm not, I, I don't feel any pressure whatsoever because, uh, the only people that uh, we're competing with is ourselves. I mean, that's the bottom line. Um, like I said, is the the more we continue to focus on the mistakes that we make, the better we're going to be, and um, we're going to continue moving forward. Nothing but love and respect to the UFC and everybody else that's in, you know, in Bellator and One FC uh, and all the other promoters that are in the business, because uh, I think it's healthy for the for the sport to have you know that kind of uh, for those kind of promotions at the le- highest level. And so, you know, for us, it's continue to learn from our mistakes, continue to challenge ourselves um, and learn from, you know, some of the uh, some of the big guys out there. Uh, again, our format is completely different to the to the norm, um, but that's what makes it uh, makes us different. And so, um, you know, again, we continue to challenge ourselves and continue to move forward. Different is better, man. It's getting you the attention. I honestly think if the Olympics were ever to adopt MMA, I think they're going to steal page from your book for some formatting or bracket type of uh, work to to figure out a champion and keep all the the fighters healthy. Uh, Ray, my last thing. Again, we're being joined by Ray Seffo at Sugar Ray Seffo uh, on social media. Uh, Ray, you got Kayla Harrison. You started the 155 division. Do you think that the UFC will follow suit and Bellator will follow suit? And that uh, have you been promised anything uh, between a UFC and PFL that maybe if a fighter wins, they will have the option? Or even if they are running up, they have an option to jump to the UFC? Have you guys been promised anything? Uh, just rumors that you could probably pass along to us? <laughs> Come on. No, there is. Uh, listen. <laughs> The, the UFC is the UFC, and PFL, PFL is PFL. You know, like I said, uh, our format is different uh, to the norm. Um, and, uh, again, nothing but love and respect for, uh, for the UFC. They've done an amazing job doing promoting the sport. And I believe PFL is doing an amazing job promoting the sport as well. So, for us, it's, uh, you know, our contracts are our contracts. The UFC's contracts are their contracts. And so, um, you know, uh, there's no... Uh, Swapping, so to speak. Um, that being said, you know, uh, when fighters have become free agents, uh, we've picked up some fighters that became free agents in the UFC, and the UFC's picked up some fighters from us that become free agents. So, you know, that's, that's the norm in the, in the sport, and so, or in the space. And so, um, you know, that's how we'll continue to move forward. Ray, look at you with the political answer. When are you running for office, man? <laughs> <laughs> I think, dude, I mean, seriously, like, can we get the, a, a president that's like an actual athlete, too? I appreciate that Putin does some judo, but Trump, man, I think if he did right. one freaking box squat, his pelvis would fall out of his hips. But, Ray, thank you again for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Can't get wait to get some of your guys in studio. Uh, thank you again for your time, man. Uh, good luck for the rest of the year. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.